Hey everybody, it's Lisa Moore. I'm the Regional Director of the Athena Network here in East and Mid-Sussex. We've got four fantastic groups across the region, one in Brighton, one in Hove, one in Haywardsy and one in Crawley. And I'm delighted that one of my lovely members of our Hove group, Anna Tarjan, is here today with me and we're going to have a quick chat about her business, what she loves to do, who her ideal clients are, and a little bit more about her Athena journey. So Anna, it's lovely to see you today. How are you? Hello, Lisa. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very well and I'm really excited to, to have this little chat with you this afternoon. Excellent. Thank you. So we've known each other, I think, or oh, almost coming up to a year now. Um, and you are a shoulder pain expert and you do lots of other bits and pieces as well. So Give us a little bit of um, an overview of who you are, what you do, um, and how long you've been doing what you do. Right, great question. Thank you very much. So, like you said, my name is Anna Tarjan, and some say I'm Brighton's most engaging solution for shoulder pain. And I typically, well, I'll tell you later on who I, who do I typically work with, but basically the reason why they call me engaging is because often people when they have a problem, they go to a specialist and go, sort me out. Here's my shoulder, here's my body, just do what you need to do so I walk out of here perfectly fine. Whereas what, what I've realized with working through clients that actually the key to achieving success and, and lasting results is to for the person to commit as well mm. and find out exactly why or what is it that that pain hinders them doing and what would it give them to not have it yeah so they can commit to and and that's why when we work together we both commit to the same outcome and that's what makes makes things happen and keeps people engaged in their recovery and then doing their bit as well so that then they can stay in that healthy top form once we get there as yeah. well and, and am i right in saying that you you didn't start off doing what you do now, but you've got you've got a bit of a medical or pharmaceutical background, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I wasn't always fixing shoulders. I started off as a community pharmacist and I've been, so yeah, my first degree is in pharmacy and I've been working as a community pharmacist for 10 years. And I've always, well, I've been like increasingly unhappy mainly because I got fed up with people going, oh, give me the magic pill that's just going to fix mm -hmm. something. And I felt that I want to help them better and do more and help people deeper. Yeah. And I've had, because I've been doing sports all my life, that was a way of um, relaxing, but also escaping when things were stressful. And as a result of that, I got injured. And on one of these injuries, I saw a physiotherapist who used some acupuncture as well. Yeah. And at the time, um, I had this swollen knee that I wasn't able to straighten. And this guy put a few needles in my other leg, in the good leg, and <laughs> yeah. pulled the support out. My yeah. swollen fat knee just went flat on the couch. Wow. And I thought, wow, that's exactly what I thought. It, completely blew my mind and at that moment a little light bulb went off and I thought I want to make people feel like wow how yeah. did you do that and that sort of planted the seed and years later I ended up doing um, a degree in acupuncture and Chinese medicine which is now the basis of my hands-on treatment yeah because you, yeah it's not just acupuncture is it you use various techniques depending on what your client needs absolutely so I use various other techniques as well um, kinesiology taping, um, self myofascial release. I teach, and that's the um, that's the main thing as well that I teach my clients what they can do for themselves. Yeah, of course, yeah. giving them hands on treatment and also um, for them to realize how important their mindset is and how much do they already know and what other tools can they learn to then deal with the niggle if it comes up and to listen to their bodies and know when to stop when to push what to do yeah um, and it's an absolute absolute privilege to be let into people's lives and um, as you know lisa you work with people one-to-one -one as well it yeah. is amazing how people it's almost like an onion they they show you a layer and then the longer you work with them the more they yeah. 
um, the more they tell you and the more they let you in and the deeper you can help them as well. Yeah, absolutely. And so who would you say is your ideal client? Because I know you work with you, mainly with a specific set of people. So who is your ideal client? Absolutely. Thank you very much for the question. I typically work with professional women aged 40 to 50 who find that their shoulder is getting them down to the point that they don't recognize themselves. Mm -hmm. Because usually these women are really active. They enjoy their sports. They like hanging out with their friends now. We're almost, almost allowed, well, in groups almost. of Almost. <laughs> so really there. Um, but anyway, in this moment in time, they really struggle. They lose their patience with their families. They are losing sleep. And they don't want their friends to see them like this when they are in pain, grumpy, and complaining. So they decide not to be in touch with them either. So it's quite a lonely place where their pain in their shoulder is essentially controlling what they yeah. do. And they constantly think, no, I can I go to the show? Oh, I know I can't do that. All I want to do is just make this feel a bit better. Mm -hmm. And um, really by working together, they will get out of pain. They will be able to show up for their families and their friends and at work in ways that they want to, not in ways that their shoulder allows them to. Yeah. And most importantly, they will learn long-term self-care strategies so they know how to keep themselves in that top form so they they can continue to show up in their lives how yeah. they want to yeah and you're based in hove that's right isn't it absolutely yes i'm based in hove but during lockdown and obviously the last 12 months you've been able to help people not just face to face because it's been difficult to do that hasn't it you've been doing some other things you've been working with people over zoom is that right Absolutely. So I've been doing a, a bit of a mix um, because I was able to see some people face to face, not everybody. And it, it has not been appropriate for everyone because, mm. of course, we've all got different um, problems or risk levels. Yeah. Way. So what, what I've been doing is being able to work with people over Zoom um, to teach them how to manage, how to get rid of pain. And, and be in a good, good shape. So I've been teaching people um, how to use a foam roller and a massage ball to achieve that. Um, and how can they basically keep their muscles and tendons in a great condition? Yeah. Well, that's, that's, really, that's really good to know, isn't it? Yeah, really good to know. So uh, you've, been, you've been with Athena uh, coming up to a year. So tell, tell us a little bit about your Athena journey and, and why, why did you join Athena in the first place and how, how has it helped? you yes great great question thank you so i was a little bit nervous about joining athena to be honest um <laughs> because i was new to networking i have been to a few face-to-face -face networking groups um and i thought right i'd really like to get out there and talk to people and one of my friends from a mentorship program she recommended athena and I thought, oh, like she spoke really highly of it. And I thought, okay, I'll speak to Lisa, come out, come for a meeting and let's see what it's like. And I was blown away by the support that everybody ha is continuously putting into, into those groups and into those meetings. So every single meeting has been interesting. So we always have a very interesting um, education slot where we find new ideas and new strategies to, to incorporate into our business. And I really, really like the people. I really, really like the people who are in there. I, I think we're, you know, it's also meeting people with completely different businesses mm -hmm. in, and we're different age groups as well. You know, some of us, we would, we would never meet otherwise. And I'm mm -hmm. really grateful that I have. And I have to say that I have received invaluable advice and guidance um, from members of members of the Hof group and uh, I've also had a client through Athena which is excellent. That's that's always helpful isn't it it's always helpful when you get some referrals and some clients and then testimonials and then it, it grows in that way doesn't it yeah absolutely yeah so what would you say to somebody who is thinking about joining Athena or joining a networking that maybe just started out would, would you have any advice? Absolutely. I would say go and come and visit, visit different groups and join and do it. It's excellent. 
Excellent. And have you, um, in your business, have you got any workshops or anything coming up? Because I know that you do a few of them sort of on a, on a monthly basis. Have you got anything that's coming up right now? I've been doing monthly shoulder care workshops. Yeah. And I have got in the, towards the end of the month, I had to, had to shift it um, to the end of the month. I have on the 28th of April, I will have a next upcoming shoulder care workshop. So if you'd like to find out how can you be, feel relaxed in your shoulders and great in your body to the end of the day when you've been sitting in front of the computer, then uh, please come along. Yeah, and they're on your website, aren't they? People can find they those on my yeah. website, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That's fabulous. Well, thank you so much for coming, coming along today and talking to us a little bit more about your business and a bit more about Athena, how that's helped you. Um, Anna Tarjan, it's been really lovely to see you. Um, I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks at our, our Hove meeting. Lovely. Thank you very much for having me, Lisa. Have a nice afternoon. Yeah, you Take too. Take care. Bye-bye.